we all want to assume that it's coaching intensity and that these intense coaches are the ones that win and drive results. And no matter what your style is, if you're softer spoken like a Jesse Marsh or you're more in your face like Dan Campbell, where the players buy in is integrity. So a couple of like quick examples just to make it super obvious. And then I'll dive into this more in the course and I'll get out of your hair for the day. But let's say it's Pep Guardiola. You've all seen All or Nothing probably. And they have a cafeteria space at Man City. They probably have a cafeteria space in every EPL, everything, major professional, whatever. So in the Man City cafeteria, let's say it's chicken and rice day in the cafeteria. And all the players are eating chicken and rice. And then over at the coach's table, the cameras catch a glimpse. And let's say Peps and his staff are eating McDonald's. Like one of the interns or gophers just went and grabbed $300 worth of McDonald's and spread it out over the coach's table. And then later that afternoon, let's say Pep is in a meeting teaching his team or even sitting in on his team because he has a nutrition staff person that will do this and he doesn't have to speak it on it. But let's say he was leading it. Let's say it was a tier three team with less resources or a USHL team where he is speaking on nutrition because there's not a nutritionist at that level. And let's say he's harping on his players of the importance of eating well, preparing their bodies for performance. And coaches are performers. So that message, and you've probably heard of heard this and can like intuit this, it's a feeling that you get. And it's an energy signature. When something comes off that's non-integrous, if you've played for a coach that harped on nutrition but was overweight and hadn't seen the front door of a gym in three years anything that he's going to say on that subject is not integrous and it sounds funny to you 